Headline CPI inflation dipped to 4.1% in September from the 4.3% recorded in August. Consumer inflation has hovered between 4 and 5% since December last year and has been below 4.5% for the past three months. It has been below the Reserve Bank's target ceiling of 6% since April 2017. It's the high weight product groups such as food and non-alcoholic beverages, housing and transport, which are most influential in maintaining the moderate inflation rates. Together, these categories make up 56% of the CPI basket and have overall increases of below 5%. So let's take a look at some of the product groups with the highest and lowest inflation rates. The top five inflation rate products are firstly electricity at 11.8%, university boarding fees at 10.7%, wine at 10.2%, so that's tough if you're a university student, medical insurance at 89 and bread and cereal products at 8.5%. Generally speaking, price increases when supply fails to meet demand. We know this is the case with the complex problems associated with electricity supply in South Africa, and demand for tertiary education accommodation has seen a surge in recent years. Wine prices have been climbing steadily since the 2016 drought, and the 2019 harvest is the lowest since 2005. Good export demand has further limited local availability. Bread and cereal prices have increased significantly in the past 12 months due to poor harvests. Maize indices have increased between 31 and 16%, and brown bread prices increased on average by 7.6%. So now let's take a look at some of the lowest inflation rates. The lowest group is telecoms equipment at negative 7.3, package holidays at negative 6.6, used vehicles are at negative 2.2, household furnishings have got no inflation at all, and fuel prices have increased only by 0.2% over the past year. The sharp deflation in telecoms equipment, which is mainly cell phones, stems from the fact that the CPI is a constant quality index. In simple terms, this means that the improvement in the features in cell phones outstrips any price increases introduced when models change. Declining prices in domestic holiday packages most likely stem from the poor economic conditions faced by consumers with the Western Cape seeing the biggest decrease at negative 9%. Announcements of monthly changes in the fuel price are keenly followed by motorists, and the price of 95 unleaded petrol in inland provinces this month was 16 rand and 3 cents. That's 5 cents lower compared to September 2018's price of 16 rand and 8 cents.